Little Big Planet tickled the creative lobe deep in our brains and left us itching for more. Finally, Little Big Planet 2 is here to scratch that itch and blow our little minds. Media Molecule has taken the lessons learned from the original groundbreaking game and combined them with big ideas from the community to make Little Big Planet 2 a powerful creative tool that would make any artist giddy with anticipation. But you gotta wonder, when your players have gone above and beyond the call of creativity, where do you take them next? Obviously we've spent a lot of time looking at the user created levels and content from Little Big Planet 1. We're constantly, you know, inspired ourselves and amazed at what people have done. I mean, the thing about the community has been that they are incredibly quick to push the boundaries. I mean, that's the bottom line. Our stated aim from the beginning of LVP was learn from the community, and when we were first writing it, we'd have these moments of doubt where we were like, can people actually create amazing levels of this? We had to explain it to ourselves, to the press. Um, this time around, we know what the community can do. It was astounding, so now we can really build on that. Typically, when players find a bug in a game, they use it for an unfair advantage against other players. In this case, it seemed to help the community flex artistic muscles. There's a bug which they found called the 50 layer bug, and um, we totally didn't know it was in there, we didn't catch it when we shipped the game. But people have been using it um, uh, to create levels that just have visual impact, and they rebuild backgrounds that officially they weren't allowed to do, but they've just done it anyways. The last level design guy that we hired was from the community. He was doing things that we just couldn't work out how he was doing it. I think he was originally a, a builder, a construction worker in the UK, and now he's a game designer at Media Molecule. While the tools Media Molecule gave users were very powerful in the original game, the players decided to take the idea of play, create, and share to a whole new level. Literally. With Little Big Planet, there, were a, there was a tiny minority of brilliant creators who basically bent the rules and created shooters and arcade games and not just platformers. Because when you think of LBP1, most people see a platformer. Now, Sackboy is still going to be in the new game, but the cool part is that we wanted to bring that idea of building not just platformers to everyone, not just the hardcore of the hardcore of the creators, but with LBP2, you'll have all that flexibility made easy for everyone. And the upside for the, for the really powerful, like, hardcore creators is that they then get an extra boost up into even more crazy territory, which I can't predict, but I hope it'll be amazing. With Little Big Planet 1, you could describe that as an, an editor for platform games. With Little Big Planet 2, we actually want to make it a platform for games. We want to broaden what's possible with the tool. It's still going to cater for and build upon what we had before, you know, physics, platform type games. But it isn't just platform games now. You can create a racing game, or a shooting game, or a fighting game, or a, a game that doesn't even have a definition yet. Media Molecule learned very well that by giving the community tools, they would build amazing things. Not only will you have large-scale game development tools, Sackboy will be getting a few tools of his own. One item you'll be getting a lot of new use out of is the grapple tool. Don't let those little stumpy sack legs get you down. If there's something way up high that you can't reach, the grapple will become your new best friend. Media Molecule has worked hard to make it easier to use all the tools and to share your brilliant creations with your friends. So one of the big things the community asked us about was like, so I've made a cool level, how do I tell everyone about it? How do I get people to make my level popular? And that's one of the big things we've really been working hard on and the web is going to be quite a big part of that as well. One of the ideas that we've actually got running internally now is that every level you publish gets a web page, gets its own web page. And um, what will happen is that when you publish, you can go and distribute that link to all of your friends. They can go online, even if they don't have a PS3 yet, they can go and check out the level, the high scores, the screenshots. And then um, from the web, they can then connect it back to their PS3. So they can be browsing the web at work or on their lunch break and uh, click loads of levels they like the look of. And when they come back to the PS3 and the PlayStation Network, they'll be able to see all of those levels ready queued up to play. So it's finding ways to close that loop so that players can find the good stuff. But don't worry, it's still going to be the same Little Big Planet universe you know and love, just way more advanced. From the graphics angle, I've been redoing the lighting so that even existing levels that you've already created, um, if you resaw them in LBP2, you'll have that level of flexibility and lushness that mean that if you want to do a really dark level or, or something that's like very personal to you, that visual style will be possible much more so than in the first game. With the DLC, 
Obviously a big part of that was the costumes. And the interesting thing about that is that with Little Big Planet 2, all of these costumes that you may have bought, you're going to suddenly find that they've got another use that they didn't have in Little Big Planet 1. And you're going to want to have a large wardrobe. Indeed you will. That's right, you won't be the only sack in need of some style and threads. In LBP2, you'll be able to create, resize, customize, and program your own AI sack bots. That will follow your every command. And since most people play Little Big Planet's multiplayer, you can bet that there will be tons more features for you to play Little Big Planet 2 with your friends. And though the devs aren't talking now, our sources reveal that we'll hear much more about Little Big Planet 2's multiplayer at E3, just around the corner. With Little Big Planet 1, after a fairly short amount of time, we had over a million levels. And the aim with Little Big Planet 2 is that in a similar amount of time, we'll have over a million games. That's, that's the dream. Little Big Planet 2 promises to give you and your friends easier and more powerful tools to play, create, and share your genius levels. And now, even games. And we can't wait to see what kind of amazing stuff you come up with. For more in depth coverage of Little Big Planet 2, be sure to pick up the August issue of PlayStation, the official magazine, on newsstands June 29th.